Hi, I'm Navid Ansari, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a camera to look at our character. So when our character is moving around, our camera can look at it and track its movement. If it jump, it should do like this. So it will be like this. So for example, in here we are moving. If we hit C, you can see it can track us like this right so if we jump it will track our movement right so you can see it clearly right so let me show you how you can do that so first of all i want to thank my patreon supporter for helping me to create all of these videos and second please 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 if you want to help me hit that like button right now thank you very much and no for doing that first of all i want to go to game mode in here to create it on this folder doesn't matter where you want to create it but i want to create it in here right click in here and create a blueprint class right in blueprint class just click on these all classes and in here search for camera because we want to create our own camera right so click on it and i want to call it c look at camera okay doesn't matter what you want to call it it didn't work right so let me save everything and double click to open this camera we don't need to do anything in this viewport we have our camera right so let's just add it to our scene for example here right that's cool let's just bring it up a little bit and i think that's a good position we create a blueprint class of camera and we add it to our scene we didn't do nothing right so now click in here and open the level blueprint and in here first thing that i'm going to show you to do is how we can change our camera from the third person camera to that perspective camera so for that I want to have some key so for example key um c for example right so let me find the keyboard key c and next one let's just add another keyboard event and this time let's just use b right so whenever we hit c on our keyboard it should be that perspective camera that we just create and put it on our scene and when we hit b it should get back to that third person camera right so first thing to do with this c we want to set view target and it doesn't show it to us so uncheck this context sensitive and select the set view target with blend okay in game player and click on it we need it twice so let's just copy and paste it here and we have two of them right the target what this target mean it means what controller camera you want to change so in this in this case we can just say get player controller right so we can use it for both of them let's just connect it like this connect this execution pin to here connect this execution pin to here again get, let's just use this get player controller for this one as well so with this we will get the con player controller and we will change the camera of that right we switch to another camera for this controller okay so when we hit c we want to switch to this camera right so just select it here and go here right click click on this context sensitive and create instance of that right and connect it here and for blend time it's it's a time uh, for switching between two cameras so if you put one second switching between two cameras will take one second okay i want to put 0.5 for both of them okay so for this one that when we hit b it should get back to that third person camera so for that i want to get layer character that's it and with that this node will get the camera up of this character <laughs> class that we create right and let's just leave everything as default now let's just compile and see what will happen if we hit c on our keyboard it will go to that camera and if we hit b on our keyboard it will get back to that third person camera right 
everything cool no we should do something so our perspective camera the camera that we just create look at our player right so for that i want to go to the camera that we just create camera blueprint class right go to event graph and in here i want to use this event tick so in every tick we want to track our character so for doing that we should rotate our camera toward our character right so first of all we should say set world rotation okay set world rotation and it will tell you which one do you want to use because i want to change the rotation of our camera just choose camera component right everything cool now let's just connect this execution pin to here and it need us to give it a rotation which rotation it should take right so let's just bring this here we should calculate that rotation first of all we can use a node that is called find look at rotation okay and we can connect the result of that here so it need an a start and target okay the start is our camera and the target is our character so uh, our character is moving so the start of this and target will be our character will get get us the rotation for this camera so in in this camera component we can get the world location okay and this is for a start and for the target target is our character right we can say get player character okay and with that we can get actor location right so with that this find look at rotation node will find the rotation that we need right so everything cool let's just compile and save and run our game and no if i hit c on our keyboard no you can see the camera is following our character everything is working fine and cool right and if we hit b on our keyboard it will get back to that character again hit c and you can see everything is working fine and cool so let's just test it again okay everything cool doesn't matter the rotation it will interpolate between them right everything cool let's just play with that so that was it guys for this video i hope you like it and please 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 if you want to help me hit that like button and subscribe to my channel it's my honor to have you here thank you thank you thank you very much for watching bye